Hey everybody, this is Owen here and in this video I want to talk about how to actually lose an argument and how to disconnect from from people, from friends, from your partner or your co-workers and how to even potentially make enemies and like bad feelings with people. So you do it by trying to convince the other person that you're right and that they're wrong and that's how you lose an argument and create loads of problems in your life and stress and stress with other people. How you actually win an argument is you help people to you help to understand you try to understand people and you help other people to actually feel understood, which is vitally important. It's even more important than trying to be understood. It's more important to try and make other people feel understood because once you do this, then they're more likely to understand you. Whereas if you try and fight and force to be understood first, they're probably going to do the same, and you're both resisting and fighting against each other, and nobody's going to get understood. But if you just give first and you can give and take a little bit. So then you allow to receive um, by like letting them um, feel empathized and understood first. So the two most important things in any moment is to understand someone else, what they're feeling and what they're needing. So if you just simply say something like you feel you're like you're feeling stressed because you need to feel you need to you want to feel you feel stressed because you don't feel understood and you'd like to feel understood. They would say, yeah, I'm feeling stressed because you never understand me. I'm always repeating. You never listen. So then you, you say, okay, so this is occurring, you feel like this is occurring for a long time and it's like the stress and the frustration has built up and maybe even angry. They're like, yes, you never listen to me. I always say the same thing. You never listen. You keep doing the same thing over and over again. So then you might ask the person, like, what would they actually like? So this gets to the solution. Um, but before you get to the solution, it's much more important to actually talk about the feelings first and the person's needs. Once someone's needs are established and people feel empathized with, then you know, the solution will automatically progress in its own accord. So this has been found to be true with like married couples who've been fighting over the bed covers or the room being dirty for like 50, 30 years or whatever else. So really when established, somebody has a need to feel, have the place clean, someone has a need to feel cared for, like someone has a need to feel listened to. So once you actually give a little bit and stop in your tracks and actually listen and empathize, you can win, two people can win. Because usually everybody's needs can be accomplished, to be honest. But you don't necessarily have to, have to get one person in particular to fulfill your needs, but often you can, to be honest. So for example, let's say I feel the need to socialize. I don't need you to meet me at two o'clock for lunch today, but I could always go and socialize with somebody else, make a phone call, be a bit creative, meet someone else for lunch, like meet a friend or a family member, or, or go to a place that's social like the park or like the children's playground if I have a child, for example, or walk the dog and say hi to my neighbors or speak to the people at the checkout. So we don't have to force one or other particular person to meet our universal need, which is open and can be fulfilled in a variety of different ways by different people, okay? So that's all I want to say. Uh, um, is there anything else? It's devastating to try and force someone else into a submission that they're wrong. It's devastating. So like always be open and listen. Don't try and say, I'm right, you're wrong, or, or insinuate it, or have your body language or tone to be disrespectful. It's okay also, it's also vitally important to be honest and say, I feel sad, I feel upset, I feel angry. I feel, identify your feeling. Once you become aware of your own feeling, then you can identify it. You can name it, you can own it. It's healing, it allows energy to move. And then you can also share your emotions with somebody else. I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling frustrated, I'm feeling disappointed, I'm feeling hopeless, I'm feeling dis dis desperate, despair. It allows other people to understand and empathize with you. We live in a world where everyone's trying to hide and pretend there's something different. Don't do that. Sure, you don't have to tell the stranger like you feel devastated, but sometimes like there's a time and a place, but when there's someone close or even in general, it's so much better to be far more honest. It's freeing, it's liberating, it's actually healing. It allows the energy to circulate, to release. So I hope this video helped. Lots of love and take care and hope you have a nice day. God bless, many blessings, abundant bright blessings.